It's done, guys. It's finally freaking done. Hey everyone, you're watching Squidmore Miniatures, I'm Emil, and today is really a special day. I've just released my first ever products, a set of my dream miniature brushes and five miniature busts. And this video is pretty much just me telling you how this whole project came about, what I think about the stuff that I've done, and tell you a little bit about the story of all of this awesome stuff. <laughs> I guess it's every miniature painter's dream to kind of be able to make their own dream tools, to have them made just the way that you want them, to have miniatures sculpted just for you, the way you want to have them, the way you want to paint them. And I not only have been able to do a brush, it's six miniature brushes and five miniatures just made for me. Had anyone told me this a year ago, I would have said, you're just kidding. This is not true. The, the whole project came about, it, it's about 10 months ago now. I was talking to the owner of my friendly local gaming store, Fantasia North, and we were talking a little bit about different brushes and what we like about them and what we don't like about them. And we came to this conclusion that why not make our own adjustments to a brush and uh, make our own dream brush. And that's how the whole idea came about. And we reached out to Da Vinci, who has been the best brand to work with. They were very accommodating from, from the get-go. And that's kind of how the idea came about, uh, that there are many great brushes out there, but not the perfect one for the way I paint. So Da Vinci, they started off by sending me about 30 different brushes that I could work from and see what I liked and what I disliked. and. Of all of these brushes, there were some things that I liked on all of them, but there was always these small things that I wanted to change or that I wasn't as happy about. So I wrote these ridiculously professional notes, working from the brushes that I thought was the closest in each size scale, so to say. And <laughs> as you can see, the comments were pretty much just, I wanted to be more stiff, I wanted to uh, hold the paint a bit better. The bristles are a bit too long, so I didn't feel like they held up good enough. And after these first set of changes, they sent me new brushes and we tried them again and made adjustments. And in the end, we came to something what I feel is the best brush that I've ever painted with. And to me, I had a couple of different things that I thought was most important with the brushes. Number one being the way that it follows the sculpts of the miniatures. And, and what I mean with that is pretty much that if you buy cheaper brushes or you have brushes that are a bit too long, the way that the tip changes shape and the way that the bristles interact with the bust doesn't give me the control that I want. And this one has sort of the perfect length and width to stick together, like going up all the way to edges under muscles, for example, without it having spread any paint on the parts where I don't want it. And the second thing is how it holds paint. To me, it's super important to have a body of a brush that holds paint. I can load it properly on the wet palette and then continuously paint for quite a long time before I have to reload it and add water to the brush. And this is one of the things, if you have a too thin and too long bristle, the paint is going to prematurely dry on your brush. And I feel like we really hit a good sweet spot on this one for the way that I like to paint. And lastly, the thing that I want to have is a good bounce on the brush. And this has to do with the same things that we're talking about again. It's the, the width of the brush, how much hair it has, which type of hair it has. And the bounce is, is pretty much uh, perfect. I have the, <laughs> the perfect resistance that I want to have from the hairs when I paint. And yeah, it's, it's really my dream brush. Uh, I guess that's the conclusion sort of of the whole thing of why I wanted to produce these. And I'm really proud of the, the professional work that Da Vinci put in on this. It's really comforting to have a brand with 50, 60 years of experience of creating these type of brushes and just doing such a good job with it. So that's made me feel comfortable in releasing these. And their Tobolsky Kolinsky hair is just, uh, it's just top of the line. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. And in the end, I feel like this is a brush that can really help beginners to get going, to have something that, uh, that makes their painting process easier and helps them guide them when they're painting instead of having to work against a brush that's not good enough. And if you're a beginner, I'll be doing a couple of videos later down the line before we ship out all of the stuff where I talk a little bit about how to take care of your brush and how to use it to get the most out of it. So I think it's a great way to start.
art, but it's also a fantastic tool for professionals who just want to maintain that high quality of brushes that they're used to using. Simply something for everyone. So what else? Well, we've done a quite nifty thing with the packaging. I think it's quite creative and quite unique on the miniature painting side of things. We really wanted to do something different that was both practical and beautiful, something that you're proud of having on your shelf and something that also protects the brushes while you use them and while you carry them to your painting sessions or whatever you want to travel with your brushes for. So we came up with this uh, cylindrical shaped box and in it we have a foam with slots for storing your brushes. And when you get the box you will have, I think we've decided on having eight different holes for the, the brushes, but you can also make extra holes using a nail or just the backside of your brush to fit more of the brushes in here. And the nice thing about it is that the brushes hold incredibly well so you can hold it upside down. I can show you. You can hold it upside down and the brushes will still stand in there. And when you put it on the desk, you can use it. And when you put the lid back on after you've painted, you don't have to be afraid of tipping the brushes and having the tips hit on something or your cat eating the, the tip of the brush. I know that happens for all cat owners <laughs> out there. And I'm, I'm really happy about this instead of what I've been doing before is just have the brushes lying on my desk. And I always tend to just like nudge them or place something on the, the brushes so the bristles break. So this tool uh, slash carry case uh, packaging have really been helpful with that to keep my brushes stay fresh for a longer time. And on top of that, the design is freaking beautiful. And yeah, I have to thank the artist Joan Belda Mondes, Barcelona artist, who is just fantastic at creating my vision. So uh, yeah, thank you, Joan. <laughs> just one more thing, make sure to clean your brushes properly so you don't have paint uh, running down the ferrule of the brush. Uh, you want to make sure that the, the bristles are clean so that it lasts longer. So guys, onto the wonderful busts. Here's another long going project and this is really a dream come true, having your own miniatures designed. Seriously, who, who never had this dream to just be able to commission your dream sculptors to make the miniatures that you want to paint? And not just one miniature, I've been given five, a whole freaking warband. I've been working together with sculptors and illustrators to bring out the characters of these different busts. And with all of these busts, there's been so much back and forth between me and the artists to make sure that I get something that will be fun to paint, that will help you paint different shapes of the miniatures, and that's also sculpted specifically for painters. Not for playing, not to just be cool, but actually have different textures and shapes that make sense when you're using a brush that's easy to follow with your brush. And on top of that, of course, I will make tutorials with all of these to make sure that people can get the most from both their brushes and from the miniature busts to improve their painting skill and just to have more fun while they're painting. The first official Squidmar bust is this one called Ilonth. It's an elf assassin with a epic octopi animal on his shoulder. And if you go on to the Kickstarter page, you can read a little bit of a story about each of these characters as well and the world that they come from. We build up a little bit of a world for them, so it's easier for you to create your own story in that with your artwork on the miniatures. This one was conceptualized by an artist called Nadine Steiner, who made sort of an awesome concept from the ideas that I had about this elf assassin who has a spirit animal with him and who is quite strong in the magical force in the realms. Not a wizard per se, but that has a little bit of magic tricks that he can use when the time calls for it. And then I had an artist called Valak who made a character sketches to make it easier for the sculptor Hakin Palacios to kind of understand the ideas that I had. And Hakin is just one of my all time favorite sculptors and I'm so happy that he wanted to be part of this project to sculpt a miniature for me. And he did such a fantastic job to not just like add these ideas of the different textures and the character but also made it look very very dynamic like it's in post ready to strike and i really really like that about this bust and this specific one will be the first one that i'll make uh, video tutorials from this will be sort of a master class painting tutorial where i do step by step on all of the different parts of the mini so yeah but let's uh, jump on to the second one the second official squidmar bust is one called renwan it's a old man demented sort of druid who is very forgetting 
Everywhere he goes, very close to his spirit animals, it's a set of fantasy squirrels who always follows him around and helps him and guides him in the world. Again, I'm incredibly lucky to have been able to work with one of my favorite sculptors I often talk about, Leonardo Escobar Quintero, on my videos. He's just so good at creating different characters and give them life, and, and I feel like he really did that with this one. On top of that, I got another one of my favorites, uh, this time my favorite painter, Joshua Lai, to paint the official box art for the miniature. Such a wonderful piece, and he did an, a fantastic interpretation of the sculpt. And I just can't wait to paint my version of this one, because I'm so excited about it and have been for many months. And after this we also have three different sculpts that I talked more about previously in the Fiverr videos where I had different sculptors do these miniatures for me. So I won't go into detail in these since we've already covered that. And all of these busts have been printed on industry leading printers and then cast by terrible kid stuff Marco and Vittori over there and made a fantastic job. You can just see the detail of these different sculpts. It's really world class casting and 3D printing and I'm really happy to be able to release a physical product, not just digital stuff. So uh, hopefully you'll be as excited as I am about picking up a couple of these busts to paint and to just be creative with and improve your skill. So yeah, that's been a long rant. I'm really happy with the stuff we produced with the, all of the different people who's been involved in making all of these products as good as they are, making me confident in uh, selling them to you guys. Uh, and if you want to pick them up, of course, the Kickstarter link is in the video description. Uh, make sure to follow there and maybe check out the stuff and see if something is right for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to see more hobby stuff, you can just hit the subscribe button and you'll get more videos every week. And with that said, guys, have a great day. Bye!